Hello there, it's Chris here from Becker's Models and today's video will be a review of this book from Master Modeler Magos Sonos on scratch building aircraft. Now, I'll give a recommendation straight up before we even open the first page. If you are an experienced modeler, okay, with in-depth knowledge of different techniques required to master when you're building any sort of aircraft model, usually honed on older but not very well fitting or very well detail kits, Plus, you've got the toolbox all around you of all the, the great tools that you've collected over the years. And um, you really want to take that next step up and try your first scratch build. Well, this is the book for you. However, <laughs> if you only have a little bit of experience, if you've only built a couple of Airfix models and you've got a few little tools and, you know, this is, you know, you're only your first year or so of in the hobby. I'm not trying to say don't have a go at this, but... This is not a hold your hand sort of book. It's not a step by step exactly how to do every single thing. It's something that you need to build upon, okay? Because nothing's going to replace those hundreds of hours at the bench, you know, wrestling with an old kit and trying to get things to work or super detailing a kit that's got, you know, no engine detail and no cockpit detail. So there it is. The quick review is over. If you want to carry on after the roll, come inside and I'll have a deeper look at this fantastic book. First, we're going to discuss what scratch building. Well, it literally means starting from nothing or scratch, okay, and finishing a completed model like these four that uh, the author's done here. They're all 148 scale. In fact, the whole book is all about doing 148 scale, fairly big subjects. Now, some of us who really love the modern, beautifully fitting, extremely well detailed stuff from you know Tamiya and Bandai. Uh, and wingnut wings, yeah, we're pilloried by those who love those old kits, you know, the, the Revell and the Airfix stuff. Um, and they say, oh, you're not modelers, you're just assemblers. Well, after reading this book, I think they need to change their view because the reality is the scratch builder is the real modeler, okay? They're making something from nothing. We get our parts already done for us in a box and we just assemble them. <laughs> All right, now, I was given this book to review by a friend of mine, Bill. Thanks very much, Bill. Really appreciate you uh, sending this up to me. And I don't think he's going to get it back. <laughs> uh, it came in the mail yesterday. I literally skipped dinner and I read it cover to cover last night. And um, my jaw was down the whole time on the floor. Just going, wow, this is, you know, this is amazing stuff. So anyway, let's get to the book itself. Very high quality. It's printed on really nice paper. Good binding. You know, all the usual stuff. Uh, when it comes to the layout and how it's edited, which I think is important for a lot of us who, who use modeling books, you know. Uh, it's it's very well laid out. The colors are good. The photos are very clear and in focus. Each one of the photos has a, a number um, attached to it and you can easily find that in the text. So from there, from just a straight up editing point of view and how it's laid out, I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, next, uh, the author's an engineer. So by profession and that mindset, it comes through and how the book is well, you know, assembled. But uh, let's, let's, oh, the, the other thing, sorry, I forgot to mention. Now, uh, Megasonus, I apologize if I'm not getting your name um, pronounced correctly. He's uh, Greek, I believe. Yep, born in Athens, 1964. Um, so I'm assuming English is not his first language. And I, I mention that because sometimes when you buy a lot of these books from, from Europe, uh, sometimes there's a few grammatical and, you know, things lost in translation. Things are sometimes repeated uh, and the editing's not, not top top quality but I mean I think this is edited yeah it's edited by David Parker if you know who David Parker is okay master modeler himself I couldn't find a single spelling error the grammar's fine it reads extremely well so even for someone like me English is my second language my first language is Australian I can read this really well so anyway let's get on to the book now what's inside well the book comprises four major parts Okay, the first one is the rounding out or the introduction, just like what I described at the top of the video. The author goes over, you know, what skills, what products, what, uh, you know, adhesive glues, what things you need and uh, should be familiar with before you even get started onto a, onto a big project like this. Okay, and he goes over how to plan the build um, and so forth. So it's, it's basically an, an overview of, hey, this is your first step into the, the game. The second part is an overview of each major component. I'll just get to the start here. So he then breaks everything down into how, how you're going to approach building the wings. How are you going to build the fuselage? There's several different ways of doing that. Uh, it touches a little bit on 3D printing, which was a surprise. That was good. Uh, how to get started on the interior. 
getting the right airfoil shape for the wings, um, weighting it, the different ways, this is amazing, have a look at this, you know, the, the different ways of constructing, because because the, the author's an engineer and it's, all these things are extremely well engineered, the use of a lot of multimedia, brass, uh, styrene, etc. So it, it really, this, this second section is sort of your, your guts that you really need to master to work out where am I going from there, all right? The third part, however, and I'll just skip on to that because there's a lot, a lot of that one as well. And I'm not going to show every page. It's not one of those sort of reviews. Let's go on. Engines, exterior, etc. Okay. Massive case study where he builds... What's on the front page? Oops, can't read that. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Third part. And it's, it's literally half of the book. Let me just skip forward. Yeah. So, you know, it's more than half of the book. And he goes through every step on how he builds a Canadair CL215 water bomber. All right. And yeah, th this is the amazing bit. Okay. It's not a hand holding exercise. Every single photo, I'll just look at this one, for example, every single photo probably makes up at least a dozen hours on the bench. I mean, like, like this one, how he just shows just how, where is he going to put the fuel tank panels? And how do you rivet all those those lines there? So, you know, it's not, even though it is, it looks like step by step. Um, what I'm trying to tell you here is it's a case of, you know, just that one photo alone. How do you get to that? He does break it down, but there's a lot of work involved in everything. So this is not a book that you can just pick up and go Oop, straight into it. Okay. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of concentration on each step. Now, let's go to the fourth part. Okay. Oop. Here we are. Let's get, like I said, I'm just going to skip one. Okay, fourth part. Here we are. Right. He does a second case study and he does another um, seaplane. This is what I'm loving about this book because if I was ever going to attempt this, I would want to do some sort of seaplane or flying boat. And uh, yeah, this one's a Supermarine Stranraer. I pronounced that correctly. This is more of a condensed study, okay? It's separate to the step by step one by getting more into the planning process and by, you know, using these. Uh, fantastic uh, illustrations on you know how do you process through the build and he really condenses it and he really you know gives you the the nuts and bolts for you to go okay yeah I can I reckon I can apply that to whatever my project is going to be all right so yeah that that's really good as well okay rounding out the book what have we got at the back so that that case study is about half as long and then rounding out the back we get this lovely I'll just zoom out for this we get this lovely gallery of that Canada. And it's just absolutely amazing. Look at that. Just brilliant. And a little blurb from the author explaining, you know, what he's all about, what his process is. So that's the book in a nutshell. As I said at the beginning, this is a near perfect book for the somewhat advanced experienced modeler to make that next leap into a scratch building. Look at this Felix though, isn't that amazing? Uh, my only criticism, and then I've only got a few, and uh, I don't think they're that valid when I, when I really think about it. Well, my only criticism would be that there's not much told about the 3D process, but have, it, have the 3D printing, because he makes a couple of parts, he shows you how to make a couple of parts using a 3D printer. But, you know, that, that subject alone is beyond the scope of, you know, of one book. You'd have to write an entire book on how to do 3D printing. And uh, that's something you don't necessarily have to, you know, put inside your builds, but... That's, that's a very minor criticism and I'll, let's forget about that one. Okay, the second one I would have is that second condensed build at the back, the Stranray. Maybe he could have ditched that and expanded on the big one for the Canada CL215. But, but then when I think about it, I'm like, well, actually, no, you want to see different approaches. You want to see how we, you know, because they're different fuselages, different wings, the whole lot. So actually, and also the process that he does and then, and you'll have to get the book to read it. I'm not going to explain every single word. But the process he shows is extremely clear and it really clarifies how you would tackle something like that. I mean, I love the way he just gets into the engineering aspect of the construction from the get-go. Because, uh, you know, the type of aircraft you're going to do, you're going to do a bomber, a fighter plane, a, an airliner, a water bomber, you know, it really determines everything about how you start to, to actually approach this. Now, look, even if you're not planning to build a nine-winged Caproni massive seaplane uh, from scratch, this is also a great resource for anyone wanting to do some super detailing 
or a major modification of a kit. You know, maybe you need to change the wing or the fuselage section because the kit you've got isn't the exact type that you want. So it's a great resource for that. Or even for kit bashing, if you've, you know, you've got something weird and wonderful in your head and you want to work out, well, how am I going to engineer that? This is the book for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that review. It's a fantastic book. Go out and get it. Uh, it'll make a great addition to your library, even if you never consider doing any scratch building. Uh, yeah. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.